<laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. Amy Collier uh, Artman is here, and also Laura Temby is here. Ah. Thank you so much for representing the library again. We're just going to continue with a great segment the on Boone the County Library. library. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. So what are you What's happening? Talk about? What's going on? Well, I, will, I can tell you a little bit about um, some of the opportunities that are available for kids now that um, kids have gone back to school. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they, the Children's Department at the Boone County Library had a tremendously successful summer program again. Great. They're amazing. And I think that maybe sometimes people forget that once you go back to school, there are lots of resources available at the library. We have um, multiple computers available that the kids can use. So if you don't have internet at home or you don't have a computer, because not every kid has yeah, a computer. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Um, your Boone County Library has computers available. And if you do have, uh, say, a laptop that has Wi-Fi access, mm -hmm. they also have wireless. Okay. So Good. you can come in and use the wireless. Also, just throughout the month, the things that they have planned for September are really neat. They're going to have a Wii game night oh, really? once a month during the fall. Now, how's that going to work? I don't know, but I'm sure it's going to be fun. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be a yeah. lot of fun. Now, for people who don't know what a Wii is, it's, it's the interactive exactly uh, game system exactly you know, where you jump and flip and back uh, to our exercise yeah, thing yeah, exactly. for yeah, today yeah. For, our, for today and they're also they told me that i spoke with ginger who is the director of the children's department she said they're planning a, a monthly movie for the kids to be involved with they're going to be developing a book club we have two book clubs at the library for adults which are marvelous book clubs and they're going to be developing a book club for kids five years and up so oh, keep an eye out for that. Now the book club, does that mean you have to buy the same book and everyone reads the same book? Is that how that works? How, how does the book well, club work? Well, actually, it's even, it's even better than that. You don't have to buy the book. Okay. Uh, the Arkansas Center for the Book at the Arkansas State Library provides 12 copies of okay. a book. And we have an evening book club that meets the first Thursday of the month at mm -hmm. 530 and a noon book club that meets at noon on the third Wednesday of the month, <laughs> of their good. name, yeah, okay. <laughs> and so they, every time they get a, a different book from the Arkansas Center for the Book at Arkansas State Library, so it doesn't cost anything. Yeah. And I'm not sure how they're going to be developing the book club for the kids, but I would assume it would be the same yeah, thing. Same you would yeah. not be responsible. And do you have to read the chapters book. and then and then talk about it, or can you read the whole book? Or yeah, how does the, how does the adult one work? The adult well, ones they will read the entire book. For for instance, okay. we're um, this month we're reading. We're getting ready to discuss um, a book called Here on Earth. The evening book club is discussing that, and the noon book club is reading one called Carolina Moon. And we'll get together and boy. Uh, but you read it on yes, your own, and yes. then you go and discuss it. And then discuss okay. it. And they're marvelous groups, really intelligent, really sharp, really fun group of people. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes it, you can read a book, and you, you want to, oh, I wish I had somebody to talk to about this. Well, yeah. these there are book go. clubs. Sure. So they're developing that for the okay. kids. Um, and I guess just I don't want to take too much time because I want Laura to get the chance to talk a lot about Buffalo National River Partners. But I know as I was finishing up my degree, I came back here to Harrison and finished up my degree here, um, far away from my campus. And although Boone County Library is not an academic library, people may not know that they have interlibrary loan. You can access books from any library in the entire United States, basically, mm -hmm. through and interlibrary how would they know? loan. Is there a list on a computer base somewhere? You would just use their card catalog, or there's okay. something called WorldCat, and we can help you with this at the library. And let's say you're working on a research paper. You're a junior high or high school student or maybe a college student here, and there's you need to access to resources to do your papers. You would look those up. They have a little form that you fill out, and they um, have people who, that's what they do at the library, is they do interlibrary loan. I, there's a small fee. It's very minimal. But then you can well, access books thing. from yeah, anywhere sure. in the United States. And I, and I don't think a lot of people know about that. Yeah, that's really good. So yeah. that's a wonderful resource as well. Cool. And, and we're talking about what is the Buffalo National River Partners? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a group of people that have gotten together and uh, formed a partnership, and it's a nonprofit. Uh, we work with the uh, Park Service, but we're our own entity, and uh, we we work towards things that will uh, improve the park and uh, improve people's relationship with the park and with the cultural and the natural mm -hmm. 
resources that are available there. So it's, I'm not going to say it's in its infancy anymore because we've been in existence for maybe three years now. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of at the toddler stage. Mm -hmm. So we're working towards building our membership and expanding our programs. And how is the uh, Boone County Library tied into that? Well, this is a great relationship we have with Amy and the library, and that is that uh, one of our uh, goals for the partners is to provide education. So we do a monthly series of speakers at the library, same as the Friends. And so far we've had uh, Jackie Alexander talking about Leave No Trace principles. Mm -hmm. Uh Uh, Chuck Bidding from the National Park Service talked about this new white nose syndrome that's affecting bats. I'm not sure if you've heard about it, but a lot of the bats in the country, or the caves throughout the country are being closed because they're not sure what is killing off the bat population. Mm. Oh, okay. And that's a... Bats are very critical for insect control and pollination, mm-hmm. so it's kind of a serious issue. Mm-hmm. So Chuck was bringing the community up to date on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, last night we had C.D. Scott, and he talked about invasive species. Mm-hmm. And um, it's not something out of Star Wars or anything like that, but it's there's, some of these things are brought in by, like, uh, maybe Overseas. bird seed, horse uh-huh. feed, also, people um, unknowingly might plant something in their garden, see it in a mm-hmm. catalog, and the next thing you know, it's taking over. Mm-hmm. Kudzu mm-hmm. would be mm-hmm. a wonderful yeah, right. example okay. of that. And um, so, so I'm not sure. What's our next program going to be? Do you remember? It? Yes, it's um, Boxley Elk. Okay, oh, so okay. that would be uh, Michael Doherty, and he's done some incredible photography and work with the elk up there in uh, Newton County in the Jasper area. And your he- your blowout program was last month on um, Old Cemetery's New Methods. Um, that was that was an amazing program. successful. And I'm trying to think of who they got for that, but the name was unfamiliar. But, you know, any time you can get something going in this area on history, people just can't oh, yeah. get enough. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. Well, great. That's, it sounds like it's uh, doing well. Yeah, it is. So some of the other programs we also offer is uh, we have an ambassador program that uh, I think our next training for that will be in November, and that's people who really love the river and spend a lot of time along, you know, the banks and uh and are socially outgoing, and so we would give them kind of the skills necessary to interact with the public and visitors to this area, you know, and the river, and you Mm. could actually, you know, you'll have a name tag that'll say an ambassador, and you can help people as far as uh, what what hikes to do, where to go, and Mm -hmm. where to eat, any of that stuff, river levels, what to take. Very good. Um, and, and back in, uh, I think it was June, we had a river cleanup, and it was river wide. We covered, I think, about almost 40 miles of the river in three different sections, and we got like 39 tires and all kinds of trash, and we had a blast mm. doing it. So mm. uh, we hope to do some river cleanup uh, in the fall when there's some water. But <laughs> Yeah, exactly, because I'm sure right now. <laughs> So the big thing coming up is uh, September 26th, it's a Sunday, at the Tyler Bend Pavilion at Silver Hill, we're going to have our second annual membership meeting, and um, we're still trying to recruit new members, and we're also, we hope that members who have joined will come, and what we've got planned is uh, we have, it's going to be like an ice cream social. Mm-hmm. We have ice cream and lemonade and cookies all afternoon. It's from 1 to 4.30. We have provided entertainment, uh, a young lady, her name's Shannon Wurst, and she is a singer-songwriter, and she's from Arkansas, I think, over by Alma, and she's phenomenal, and she's actually... Um, done work with the Arkansas Heritage Commission. She's written some wonderful songs about the Buffalo River, about the uh, Ivory Build Woodpecker. She's done programs at school. She's she's won a acclaim, acclaim as one of the female singer songwriters of the year. Great. I, f- I forget where, not in this state, mm-hmm. but so anyhow, she's going to be playing for us. We're going to have Dora prizes and also a silent auction. Some of the local artists and businesses have donated some very nice uh, things. Uh, A Night for Two at the Seville, 
um, tickets to the fortress. I don't know if you all have heard of that at all, mm -hmm. but it's sounds pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Got about thirty seconds. Okay. Uh, yes. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, more information about this. Where can they get well, this? Well, uh, you can contact uh, these numbers eight seven zero three six five two eight eight one. Or you can email us at bnrpinc at gmail.com or bnrp, uh, it's bnrpartners.org on the web. Or just okay. Google Buffalo National River Partners. That's probably oh, the easiest okay. way. That's yeah. the easiest. And then your, your book clubs are starting right now? They're ongoing. Ongoing All right now. Show up. Okay. All right. Just show up and just call the library for information about great, that. Great organization, Boone County Library, and all the things that you do and partnering and up with too. people like yeah. this. And it's great having people like Amy to work with. It's fun. Thank you all so much for being Thank here. You. Thank We'd you. We'd like Evans. to thank everybody for being on the show. We're out of time. We'll see you again next time. <laughs> that was quick. That was good.